Good morning, folks. We're at day two for the Leipzig regionals. We have Nutella. We have yay. We have food. We have the coffee. Everybody's still sleeping and stuff. And uh, look at this guy. He looks awake. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's ready to own the tournament. He's gonna be on stream later today. You'll see that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys then. All right, we're uh, back on the road. Back to the Dream Hack uh, place where we can just enter to uh, register for the regionals. And uh, what matchups uh, do you don't want to face, guys? Green Ninja, like and Rock of Buzzwall, Bobby Yeah, Giratinas. <laughs> Giratina promos, yeah. I personally don't like to face uh, Greninja because I'm running Zorak like a rock, finally decided, and uh, Zorak like a rock is kind of weak to uh, Greninja since the shadow stitching. But, Greninja ooh. sucks. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see if a Greninja can actually make it to uh, day two of the regional of the top 42. So, well, it fine. deserve it. Welcome to house. All right, round one is done. Uh, the timer on the clock was three minutes, won two rounds against Valkany and Sil Valley, which was uh, a favorable matchup in my part. Sil Valley is weak to fighting, and uh, the first round was pretty uh, simple. Got the first turn Bridget, and also finished it up with a mellow, and uh, I actually changed my list a bit, and uh, actually run four fighting energies, basic fighting energies, and only one strong energy. So things went pretty well, knocked out Sil Valley in the game number two, just in time, and uh, got those two wins. So Valkany, uh, the thing that he is running he is uh, running a 2-2 line, I believe. Of Stealth Valley, yeah, two-two line just to retreat. I don't think he ran Float Stones, but he ran Fighting Fury Belt and Turtonator with the GX move was pretty decent. So uh, it was kind of hard at the last matchup, but the first game uh, went yeah. really well with the stand in Zoroark getting that uh, for, yeah. for uh, one hit KO. So yeah, keep you guys updated. Uh, round number two. Hopefully, I uh, have another favorable matchup because Like a Rock Zoroark is actually uh, doing pretty well for me today. Okay, game number two is done. Got another win here. Faced the Sil Valley Volcanion once again. And uh, the good thing is that I dunked the second round. So I actually have some spare time now, which means I can get grab myself a snack just to get some energy for the next round. What are the chances? Volcanion Sil Valley twice in a row, and that's a favorable matchup. First game was uh, evenly matched, but uh, the stand in Zorwark was again uh, MVP and uh, the second game I actually dunked a Lele with a Zorwark. So I, I used Righteous Beating twice and he uh, or actually she bricked which was fun, which means I have some spare time now. So two wins, zero losses, zero ties. All right, we have match three against one of the guys on Omnipoke, which is uh, also uh, one of the known channels on YouTube. I was facing Sylveon, of course, and uh, the, the, the reasoning behind me losing twice is because he had a surprise Hoopa. I couldn't uh, KO that Hoopa, and uh, I scooped the first game. Game number two was really close, and time got called. I only got two, actually three turns. He got the max potion he needed to actually uh, uh, get this win, and this is just uh, the reason. I only only have four. I actually have four basic energies, which helped me a ton against this matchup. He used a lot of enhanced hammer, steam flare grants. But in the end, I didn't uh, manage to pull it off because Hoopa was in the deck. If Hoopa was not in the deck, this would have been a really easy matchup. But Hoopa actually ensured him the win. So this was a great game. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, we are at round number four, and I uh, actually decided uh, playing really well against Gardevoir Galade. I uh, got my Mewtwo out, destroyed Galade, uh, which was a really great thing because he didn't have a backup Gardevoir, and uh, the Dangerous Rogue definitely helped out, out against uh, uh, to get two extra prize cards. The game number two, he even he, he had to Sycamore away two of his Octillaries, and uh, that was pretty much game because he only got out one Rolls per turn, and I always used like the Guzma or the Lycanroc Bloodthirsty Eye, so no Gardevoir in sight. So uh, I'm at three wins and one. One loss so things are going pretty well and the inclusion of running four basic energies instead of the strong energies definitely helped out against enhanced hammer so yeah stay tuned How are you yeah Zabdo CCG the best channel the best right this game. was yeah. round number five and in this round I was facing Sylveon once again the only bad thing is I had this uh, set up just to uh, finish the game because time got called and otherwise I couldn't finish game number three game number one uh, went pretty well got uh, uh, the, the best out of him with my basic energies that got uh, not easily discarded and uh, game number two was like 
uh, in his favor, I uh, scooped right there, and then uh, we went on to game three, which uh, was really interesting. What you uh, know, the, that the yeah, the <laughs> last thing I needed was a choice band. I used things like trade, trade, just to get those cards, but I couldn't get the choice band. If I had the choice band, I had to match in the game. Another thing I was uh, really uh, afraid of here is like uh, he had a lone EV, he had to attach a DCE, and I only needed the Zoroark. The bad thing is, I used N, did not get the Zoroark, so uh, game number three went on in a tie. So uh, that is unfortunate. So I went uh, three wins. Uh, one loss and one tie, so everything is still possible. All right, guys, we actually uh, finished round number six. I was up against another Belgian fellow, which is awesome. I know him, by the way, Jimmy. Uh, shout out to you. He was playing Guard of War Galate, and uh, I did really well. First game was really close. I actually uh, uh, was struggling against Guard of War quite a bit. Galate, I destroyed completely with Lycanroc, which was a good thing. So uh, the strong energy and Kakuyu definitely works out uh, uh, with the mat here. And also, the uh, DX move is just overpowered against Guard of War, one-shotting them with a bunch of energies. Game number two, I did something else entirely. I uh, used Lycanroc in order to uh, just put that Pokemon up front from Remorade, knock it out, and uh, that was pretty much game because after that I used N and he bricked for three turns, so actually got two uh, wins in that game. So or as four wins, one loss, and one tie. See you guys soon. All right, we went with round number seven, and uh, here I actually lost twice because we were facing Sylveon again together with Hoopa. He also had a 1-0-1 line of Gardevoir and together with the Max Potion I couldn't keep up, couldn't one-shot and uh, I could not even find the energies necessary after he used Enhanced Hammer turn after turn. Game number one didn't went really well. <laughs> we just, uh, yeah, what, what happened is that the two puzzles were priced, couldn't get the knockouts and uh, things went uh, downhill from there. Game number two actually scooped that game number one and then game number two went the exact same thing. He uh, got out three Pokemon, he got Hoopa. Uh, rolls and uh, even an Eevee. So I, I could have used the uh, Lycanroc Dangerous Rogue, but he kept, kept getting rid of my energies and uh, things went uh, terribly. So uh, three Sylveon matchups, which is weird because the meta I was expecting, expecting a lot of Buzzwall did not happen. And uh, look where we at right now. Four wins, two ties and a loss. Or actually, two losses and a tie, yeah. Things are still possible. We have to win the next two rounds. Actually, now that I think about it, what's up with all these Sylveons? Three matchups, two losses and a tie so I can't seem to win against Sylveon because of this annoying Hoopa that's included I don't know where they got the deck list but uh, it keeps popping up I don't know why match number eight is just done it was against my good friend Yari and uh, he actually played Galissapod uh, with Zoroark it was a 50-50 matchup the first game uh, actually ended up in uh, him getting the the last grass energy that he needed in order to get the knockout if he did not get that I would have won that first match game two went to me with Lycanroc always targeted his Wimpaws before he could actually evolve them to Galissapod and then Lycanroc could just use his GX move or actually use Claw Slash on Zoroark GX's game number three was a tie time got called and uh, we're at four wins uh, three, yeah, two, two losses and two ties, so 4-2-2. Uh, two, two. Uh, if I win the next one, I uh, still have some championship points, so uh, let's go. All right, round number nine was done. Got a half of a booster box. We came 57th, and I was facing Frederick World, which was one of the top players of the London Internationals. I won game one, uh, lost game two, and then uh, it went down to time, but I actually got already five prize cards, which meant that he actually uh, gave me the game, and uh, that's why I became uh, 57. Not too bad for regionals, if I say so myself. 50 points, and uh, we're gonna open this later. As a little side note, uh, Frederick World was playing Boswell uh, Lycanroc, but I didn't see any Regirocs. I, I think he he doesn't, didn't run any Regirocs, but he ran a, a heavy line of basic fighting energies. I think he ran Max Legers and 14 energies in total. Four strong and then uh, 10 basic fighting energies. After an entire day of playing cards, we finally decided to uh, sit down. Yeah, and uh, we have food here. Belgian fries. Belgian fries. It looks delicious. Hopefully it will be delicious. <laughs> And uh, after this, we will be opening the Crimson Invasion packs. 18 packs in total, but we're gonna go uh, really fast for them. I already opened the box on the channel, uh, actually a case on the channel, so you know every card. We're gonna go Six really pieces. fast. Yes. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, see you guys uh, in a minute where we're gonna open up a bunch of packs of Crimson Invasion. All right, 80 packs of <laughs> Crimson doing. Invasion. Let's do this. And uh, he's doing some weird stuff. He's making Zoroark like and because apparently it's doing really well. And, uh, Excited to see the top 32 matches, and uh, hopefully one of them will be Zorog Lycanroc in the uh, final, so it's a really great deck. Uh, so, Crimson Invasion, we have 18 packs, and uh, 
Hey, William, can you just hold the camera like this? I'm gonna open them in uh, both because I yes. only have. Sure. 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 Alright. <laughs> what do we I'm have? I'm going to be on into the video. Oh. <laughs> it's a melting! Melting! Secret track, big energy. Oh, mill tank. Next. Oh, oh, it is, it is. Nice. Ah. Really go. Oh, oh. You got the best card that has me on. Here. Chinchino. Chimeco. Nagaligo will be playable in the Nagana deck. Here, both. Check it out, man. Look, 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 look. I'm the bulk bulk. Oranguru! Oranguru! Stra! Fire energy, I play 16 and I managed to get top 16. Oh, we got, we got, we got! Self Valley, full lord! Full lord! Alright, that's great! Nobody gets this cool. Crimson Invasion, be liked! No, 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 that is the top of my This is the good build. Oh, we got, we got, we got Gengar! Gengar, listen me! And a hunter! Hunter! Hey, fighting memory! Equip it! Let's go! Xerneas! Things are going great. Two GXs. Full Art Self Valley. Now I have four. Who's a man? Who's a man? Okay, I'm on. Got my money back. More packs. Look at this Pikachu. He's so, so happy. He's taking a Pikachu. Gladion. He gets half a box plus two bullets. And we get the Octillery. Hey, proxy Octillery? Be like. <laughs> you get it, you get it. Thanks, bro. Bro. They need it, thanks, bro. Cross. Drivus. Oh yeah! Star me! Trying to catch her, cool. Because I'm ducking him on. Ta 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 ta. Hey, hey! Don't throw the bulk on here. The bulk. We're checking out the good bulk and the bad bulk. This is a bad bulk. Wigglytuff is mad. This is the reaction. Look at this widow. He's in the background. And more bulk, Chinchino, best card in format. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. new card. Just be the fuck out of it. The another one. Type no. Ebla. That's like eight doors or something. Yes. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. Just tell them. What the crazy half? You have to play Komo. Komo. Another one. Yeah, you have the young Komo. Hakamo, you double Hakamo. You can play anything you want, man. Anything. It, it, it'll cost you like five dollars to get four uh four combo Diggers B. Oh Lose the mean full art is definitely nice. Hi Dragon, was it this deck? Yeah. Hi Dragon with It was with uh, the Sableye. It had the supporter lock. Sableye with supporter lock together with this high dragon and the right, and the right, and the right to, uh, paralyze, to paralyze the evolution, an yeah. annoying uh, rogue deck that we might feature on the channel if Dungeon. we run out of, <laughs> run out of ideas. So <laughs> <laughs> Valley, I don't think I don't think we'll get it. Ah, uh, it's a green card, but we get Ooh, nice pack. Miss Magius and Registeel. Is Magius even playable? Yeah, check it out. Okay. Okay. No more DCs for you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, no, no, nothing. Yes. Okay, this was it, guys. Uh, for the booster box, actually, the half of a booster box. I cannot complain. Two full arts, and uh, this was it for the vlog of day two. There's no tr day three. Or actually, there's one. Or actually, three Belgian people in the top 32. Let's just uh, support them as much as we can, and hopefully, they'll uh, get home the trophy. Peace out.